let's check out the Mumba Blade grip case for the Switch Lite. Mumba contacted us and they were like, hey, do you wanna check out some grip cases for the Switch and the Switch Lite? And I was like, yeah. So we've already checked out the ones for the Switch OLED. There's two different grip cases for that, but this is the blade for the Switch Lite. Now they did send this over for free, but we are under no obligation to change our opinions. This is not paid or anything like that. They've just provided us with a sample, so all my opinions are my own. Now this Switch Lite isn't actually mine. It's Christina's. So I've stolen it off of her, hence the uh, the pink thumb grips which you can see just here. But I'm actually quite happy because she does not have a grip case and she's been wanting one and I've been like, oh, well, yeah, yeah. and well, maybe this will be the solution. So opening it up, all we get is this. And inside we get the case and then we get this, which is like the installation guide, which is pretty easy. I'm pretty sure I could figure that out. And then here we go, here's the grip case. And how cool is that? This is called Frost Black. And I am digging that like transparent sort of like frosty black. I don't even know what to call it. It's just really cool. It's like a gray color and it's transparent all over. There's no other like different colors. It is the same thing all over, but it's like a stiff, hard sort of rubbery plastic, like some sort of TPU or something. And I really like the look of it. It is exactly the same as the blade for the Switch OLED that we've checked out, but it's slightly different in terms of design. So like the grip and the design up here is all the same as the one for the Switch OLED, but it's just like all one color and obviously smaller for the Switch Lite. So we've got like angular grips just here. We've got all the cutouts for the ports for the Switch Lite. On the top, there's the vent. On the back, we've got the intake vents just there. We've got the charging port and we've got a little button on the sides for volume and power. And what I really like is the fact that the triggers are exposed which is definitely something I like because I really don't like it when companies make cases like this which are not only to protect your switch but to be a grip right to give you more ergonomic grip I hate it when they cover the triggers because then you're just pressing a thing that's then pressing the trigger that is then pressing the button you know I, I don't like that whereas this is a much nicer design but anyway let's uh, put the switch light in shall we so i'm going to put the bottom in first and kind of just push it down and then push the top over it and wow that looks cool i'm so glad that we've got well christina's got the gray switch light which matches this absolutely perfectly and how cool is that and it's still transparent so you can still see nintendo switch on the back just there which is really really nice so if you've got a limited edition switch light you're still going to see that design on the back just here which is definitely a bonus but that gray really matches the system you know obviously it's transparent which again is actually really nice but you can see how it makes the grips stick out so instead of the side of the like system just here being straight it actually sticks out which for me with medium sized hands whereas Christina has tiny hands this actually feels way nicer than just the the switch light straight up and you can see how much grip this gives you if I turn it upside down you can see how much it sticks out on the sides just there same with that side and on the top again really love the fact that the trigger are fully exposed that's really really nice so let's uh, jump into a game really quickly and test those buttons so that button was absolutely fine let's just uh, see if I can turn the brightness up because it does seem very dim there we go I don't know why Christina was having it on like night mode and yep the volumes easily adjustable still you need to put a bit more pressure on that button to make it sort of work a bit better but that's absolutely fine if I run around just quickly in this town on Pokemon Arceus on Legends it feels really nice. Like the, the switch light is so small, but this gives it that extra bit of grip that is actually really beneficial, like super beneficial. If I hold it up and just play like this really quickly, like you can see my hands are gripping onto the grips themselves because they're like angular. And I would say this is way nicer than if you were playing without a grip on. So I'm actually really surprised by that because, you know, the Switch Lite is so small and this has really upgraded it with these massive sort of grips on the back just there that really let you get your hands in there. See if I can turn my hands over. You can really get a grip on this 
and it just makes it so much more comfortable to play because it's such a small system. So I'm actually really impressed by that. <laughs> Straight up, there's not really anything that I can think of that I don't like. The only thing I'm not always a fan of is this, you know, to adjust the volume and the power. But then this is so thick, as you can see if you look inside the vent, if that wasn't there, you wouldn't actually be able to turn it on or adjust the volume anyway. So it's kind of a necessary evil right there. And again, all the ports and everything are all cut out. They align absolutely perfectly. And it's just a really cool looking grip. Bandy, how much is it? So for the Mumba Blade for the Switch Lite, and this one is in frost black, it's actually $15.99, $1599. So 16 pounds here in the UK. Now that is UK price, great British pounds if I can speak. And if you're wondering what it is in your country, if you're not from the UK, well then go down there because the link will be in the description and that will divert you to your own Amazon and that will tell you how much it currently is. Now, of course, that is just the, the standard price. That's not on sale or anything like that. So prices could fluctuate. You might get it on an offer. It might even be cheaper. But for £16 for a Switch Lite, I would genuinely say straight away that this is pretty good deal. The cover and everything feels like good quality. It's molded lovely. There's no like burrs or sharp edges on it. And it just grips so nicely in your hand. You've got those like uh, the triggers and the bumpers exposed, which is absolutely necessary in my opinion. And you can still see through the back. So, you know, if you do have a design on there, you can still see it. And it is going to protect your Switch Lite. So if you've got a screen protector on like Christina has on here, and then you've got this as well. This is definitely going to protect your Switch. So I'm probably gonna get Christina to test this one out for me, and then we'll do a review in the future. So if you wanna see the review of this grip case after some extended use and see what we think of it, like after actually using it for a good amount of time, well then go down there and subscribe. And if you're wanting to see the Switch OLED versions, which I've already covered, well then you'll be able to see them up here somewhere as well. And maybe another grip case that's here as well. So so go check them out, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.